Now, uh, and this, uh, now we're ready to start with the uh, registration page. Now, if you look at the registration page, we have, I created a few fields, basically, I have a back button, a username, full name, phone, and password. Now, notice I don't have user time, which exists in the table. We're going to do that in the uh, uh, request service. So what do we need to do? Here we have uh, we have we need to go back to the data. In the data we need to invoke the proper services. So the first service I need to call which is service. I have one that comes in with Apple which is sign up service. And then we click on that. This one will map if you look at the mapping of this, it has, this is my page, in the body here, what do I have? I have username and password. So we need to pass the username and password to the first page, to the, in the first service, okay? So where they come from? They come from the user ID goes to here, and then password goes to here. All right, and then you click save and run. Of course, in a real example, you will have to put confirm and you'll have to put uh, validations and things like that. Maybe in the future videos, uh, we'll, we'll uh, do some validations. So like we can put another confirm database before it goes to the next page. So that's before on the request. And the response on the success, what do I get? I get if you notice, I get session and username. Now I have in my storage, if you remember, I have session and I have a username in the user data object. So the session goes to the session and the username goes to the user ID here. And then we click save and return. Now the next step is that when we're successful we want to actually insert the other field into the other table that we've created now this is i'm going to call this login uh, user register register okay and then we need to create another service and uh, this service is the create service for my custom table or collection which is my users so when I click on add now here I go call it my user registration before we send what do you require here notice I have all these this is in the page but here in the body I have to provide much more than that, just that information what do I have here I have a few other things such as user ID, user ID, user ID, uh, full name, full name, uh, phone goes to phone, and what else do we have? I have password. I don't need password here because it's in the other table. What, what do I have? I have user type. Where does that come from? I'm going to hard code it and I'm going to say here because most people that register, they're not going to be admin from the app and they would have another app, you know, another functionality. So here I'm going to say return and then here we will say uh, user. So the people can register from this app will always be users. Okay, so save and return. Now, on the complete, what should we do in the complete? If we, on the complete, on the second, uh, before we do that, well, let's do it. Uh, and the, in the complete, what we're we going to do, we're going to say uh, run JavaScript, and then here we say alert, alert, congrats. If I can type. <laughs> All right, alert, and say congrats. Congrats, you are um, you are a member now. Okay, so that is the message that the user will get in case safe. 
The other one, the next action would be is that to navigate them back to uh, the previous page, okay, which uh, to the main page. So we'll go here, and navigate to page, and then we'll go to the main page. You can go and send them to the admin page, the uh, uh, the uh, user page, but let's send them back to the main page. So they have to log in again to test it, make sure that it works. Okay, so we we'll send them back to the main page. All right. So we're done with this. Now in the other one, which is the success for the uh, when it's successful, added the record to the database, what do we do here? We call the actual service the second service, which is what the uh, my user registration. So we go here and we add call service, invoke service, which one do we invoke? My user, uh, here it is, my user registration. Then we click on save, and then it should be fine now. Okay, so it's a saved application. The last step we need to do in here is when we go to the register page on the design, we need to invoke that service that we just created. So in here, you click, what do we want? We want to um, Regist we want to navigate, uh, sorry, run, run book service, not my user, uh, user, user registration, click on that. And then we have here, save this. Now uh, if we test it, uh, hopefully we didn't miss anything and it should work. Click on register. Are we going to click on register? We want to say the user is John and then John Smith and the phone number 45645, five, whatever. Password again here where we said you need to confirm and then do some validation. And uh, one, two, three, click on register. It's successful. Congrats! You are a member now. And okay. Took me back here. And if I have John, and then remember what was one, two, three. If I do login, now it should take me to John Smith because it was a user. Okay. So that is. Uh, uh, it's not a hundred percent. It's not complete, but it at least should get you going with the registration process. What's missing from this is some validations. And making sure that they enter the data before it's sent to the database. So maybe we'll do that in the next video. Okay.